What's going on guys? My name is Bear Witness and today we're going to be doing another 2K video. In this we're going to talk about the new 2K finesse system. This is what I like to call it and that's what I will be calling it through all of 2K19. Deal with that. Anyways, so Mike Wang said that you can branch to floaters from euros, cradles, hop steps, and spins. Along with that, you can now branch to dunks from cradles, euros, and hop steps and spin gathers. Now, all you have to do is just kick off one of those layout types and keep holding RT on Xbox and R2 on PlayStation, and you guys will be able to pull that off. Now, this is kind of difficult, but if you are a, an elite slasher, and or inside dominant archetype you guys won't have any problems doing this or pulling this off it'll be an actual actual great way for you guys to express how actually skilled you are at the archetype now a lot of people on 2k18 they said oh hey slashers you don't need any you don't need anything and with the blow buys i admit you don't need a very a lot a lot of skill it hurts me to say it but because i love slashers i absolutely love slashers catching a body is something epic now if you can give me an archetype where i can catch a body break your an ankle and shoot a three i'd be straight but if people would say i'm overpowered then i get nerfed and i'd be mad and then i gotta make a new archetype but now nah, i don't want to do all that so the important part is slashes have a lot more finesse now so even though they nerfed our blow buys we'll still be out here now last thing i want to talk about or one of the last things i want to talk about is the fact that in the new game there will be an option for if you have a trailing defender you can hold LT on Xbox or L2 on PlayStation and it will trigger a hold off which is a Chris Paul like crab dribble that will allow you to seal the defender behind you for a bit great for cutting defenders off and opening up a driving lane now in my opinion I think that if this doesn't have like a timer and or use up some stamina it can get a little bit ridiculous but it also gives us an option for our us faster archetypes us faster slashers to make sure we get ahead and keep ahead and nobody can cut us off so i'm pretty excited about that itself and i cannot wait to be keeping people behind me getting them all frustrated and speeding up and dunking on their center because that's what that's what i'm looking forward to also one more quick thing guys it was recently announced that 2K has taken over the NBA Playgrounds game. They are now releasing NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. And uh, they'll be releasing that this fall. We have no official release date, but guys, this could possibly be the new NBA Street, which is what I'm super excited about. I miss Stretch. I miss Bonafide. I miss the fireball when you dunk. I miss the crazy dribble moves. And obviously, we're not going to get that from 2K. So I cannot wait for this game to drop. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about it. You probably are. Anyways, if you guys like this video and like the information I'm putting out on 2K, then make sure that you guys leave a like down below. Also, if you guys are not part of the Bear Squad, how about you go over and bear hug that sub button, boy? Let's go. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.